And good afternoon, wherever you may be watching. Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. It may be a little gloomy where we are in Wakarusa, Indiana, across the street from where we make our wonderful diesel products. But just because it's gloomy doesn't mean you can't start thinking about the kids are getting out of school and grandparents are going on road trips and you want to see all of the great things this country has to offer. Why not do it in the brand new 2019 Venetian J40? I know you have a lot of questions about the J40. What is it all about? What does it look like inside? What power is it? How much can it tow? We are going to get you every single answer you want with our good friend, National Sales Manager, Adam Gudger. Always good to see you. Who cares if it's gloomy? We're talking 2019 Venetian. Exactly. Well, and you know, this weather is perfect, man, because this is just like Oregon where I'm from. You know, I feel right at home. and. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is, and you know what? I guess we'll let's start on the outside because we have our awning out. We're keeping dry. Hopefully, we don't have any more downpours. But even if it is raining, we have all the protection we need. So go ahead and walk us through every single feature. Because let me, I will set this up. Why does Adam know everything? Because Adam is part of the brains behind this. So if you want to pick his brain about, well, what goes into this or what it goes into this, get you as many answers online as we can. But Adam helped design this. So I guess let's start with when you sat down to think about the J40, what you were thinking. Because I'll be honest, I haven't met anyone as passionate about <laughs> designing motorhomes as is, is you. Well, I, I got a lot of pressure on me with this one. Because <laughs> this is actually the first one I've ever named after somebody. So I have oh. a girlfriend. Her name's Jenny. And so we call it the J40 for that I reason. Gotcha. So if it doesn't sell or people don't <laughs> like it, I'm in big trouble. But no, um, yeah. it's uh, it's really it's a, it's a development mm -hmm. From what we did with Aria with the 3901. Right. I mean, I've been working with floor plan design for gosh, upwards of 16 years yeah. now, and we've never had a hotter floor plan than this 3901 Aria. Mm -hmm. So we figured, you know, what the heck, we might right. as well do it in a Venetian too, because, you know, there are so many amenities that you're going to get when right. you step up from the Aria to the Venetian. So we didn't want to not allow those folks the opportunity oh, sure. for, for those those things. Well, go ahead and let's kind of walk us through some of the features outside because I know you want to talk about keyless entry. You want to talk about, uh, you know, hinges and doors and tires and motors. So take it, take it away. Yeah, oh, well, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, the first thing you know is obviously the full wall slide that mm -hmm. we have here. And, you know, we really pride ourselves in, in square footage. And, you know, one of the nice things about putting the full wall slide on the curb side of the coach is that you can put the larger awnings right. on. You know, we, we've seen a lot of companies out there, they put the patio awnings above the slide box so they come out really flat so again you're know, like on a rainy day right. to like today um, the rain is is just gonna pool up in that awning and it and it really becomes useless at that point and so what's nice is you can actually adjust the pitch on this and you notice there's there's actually three arms okay. on this armless awning so it gives it a lot more mm -hmm. strength and it can withstand the wind much better so it's not gonna break on you and 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 like I said there is that adjustment so you can mm. you can change the angle you know obviously mm. the sun isn't up above right. you all the time so so it's one of the things and then the depth I mean think about it when the slide comes out if the awning is above that slide mm. box you're losing all that right. depth that's part of your patio area and you know the best part of our being is being outside, being outside in my outside. opinion and and the other thing we want to point to on this awning so say another because we've been having these little pop-up showers strong wind gusts, gusts come along this thing's gonna automatically retract. So if we're inside, it goes in, we don't have to worry about it. It does, right on the bar there's a motion sensor. So that'll actually detect mm -hmm. the movement and it'll protect you from, you know, if you forgot about yeah. it, you go inside for a little yeah. bit. Well, let's go ahead and start here. We'll sure. walk our way back, walk our way around because we have all kinds of stuff to uh, to show and talk about. Today. Yeah, so, you know, when you start in yeah. the front, you know, one of the things I, I always like to point out is our fuel fill mm -hmm. location because it's above the belt line. A lot of companies will actually locate their fuel fills down below. Mm -hmm. Well. In essence, what's happening is, is you're feeding the fuel uphill to go mm -hmm. down, and so there's two problems with that. See, okay. First of all, it takes longer to fill the coach mm -hmm. up because you're fighting gravity, and the second thing is it can sometimes come back on you. And, and you don't want diesel on you. That's the worst. That'll, that's, and, that stain's not coming out. And one of the big selling advantages of the Venetian in general is the fact that we're putting a really heavy chassis on it. It's okay. a 328,320-pound mm -hmm. frame, so it's a very heavy uh, Freightliner chassis, and so it allows us the opportunity to put a 150-gallon fuel tank on board. Awesome, and while we're talking about that, we get the chassis from Freightliner, but then we send it over to good friends at Moride who upfit it, and it's called the Atlas Foundation. Let's spend a, a few minutes talking about, you know, everybody talks about, well, you know, we use Moride for this, and we use, but we have them. The, the Atlas is a, a, a little bit different than what everybody else is doing out it's there. It's special, and so the big deal for us as a, as a manufacturer, and you know, one of the things I really want to encourage people to know is the fact that, you know, there's like 
it's like eighty percent of the manufacturers yeah. are building on a Freightliner chassis, but not all Freightliner chassis are made equally. Mm -hmm. It really comes down to as a manufacturer if you have the mechanical engineers to understand and balance out the mm -hmm. coach properly. And so first and foremost, we build every single at Atlas foundation specific to floor plan. So this J40 has its own unique Atlas foundation on it, so it's going to be better balanced. Mm -hmm. And then in addition to that, the way it's supported. So we have these trusses that span across the frame rails. Okay. We don't anchor them down like outriggers to the sides of the frame rails and we don't lay them on top. And so the energy that is created from the road and from you know the vibration from the engine um, that's, that's really focused on those frame rails, mm -hmm. we leave that off of the, of, the, of, the, uh, of the hybrid trusses because we build up and above. And so what happens is naturally is you don't get all that harmonics and energy injected mm -hmm. into the house of the coach. So it's a much more mm -hmm. quiet, comfortable ride. One, one thing we found out with diesel customers through all the years is mm -hmm. they use them much more, they drive much more. So we want to try to make that, that rideability, that, that, that comfort mm -hmm. the best it can possibly be. And the other thing too, when you talk about maximizing in the way we do it is, is the, the Atlas Foundation is really specific per floor plan. So we can really give you just, I mean, the, 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 we'll open some of these bays here, and we'll go ahead and uh, when we get to that point. But the storage that these bays can hold is really outstanding in its field. Yeah, well, it's neat because not only do we have the most square footage in mm -hmm. the industry, but we also have the most basement storage. So, I mean, what else do you need, right? I mean, right. we're giving you everything, and it's going to ride mm -hmm. better because of the way it's designed. Mm -hmm. And in addition, with Atlas, um, if you look underneath the coach, mm -hmm. we actually span uh, two by three inch anti camber bars that run the full length. So the twisting gets out of it. And then another thing that Freightliner just recently introduced, I think it was back 2016, if, okay. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is the V-Ride technology. Right. So, so with these larger coaches that have the 8.9 liter uh, Cummins engine, which mm -hmm. this one happens to be a 400 horse, where a number of our competitors use a 380, okay. by the way, folks. Um, but the 400 horsepower Cummins engine, um, it's heavier because you're going to that bigger 8.9 liter at 1,250 pound feet of torque. It's going to take you up every mountain. Um, it used to be back in the day that either manufacturers had to cheat mm -hmm. and put very little weight bearing capacity on the rear axle or they had to add a tag to it. Well, if you add a tag to it, you're losing about 30 inches of basement space. Okay. But fortunately, a few years ago, RVs became exempt to federal bridge law. So they developed this new 24,000 pound rear drive axle. And not only is it a better weight bearing capacity axle, but it also is a better riding axle. It actually emulates a lot of the similar characteristics mm -hmm. of a tag. It used to be back in the day that people bought tags not because right. they wanted the longer coach, it's just they wanted that stability in right. the ride because a tag traditionally always didn't wander as much on the road. Mm -hmm. But with this new technology, you don't have to buy a tag, folks. You can buy a single axle coach with a big motor, and guess what? You can still keep it at that shorter length if that's what you and choose. And still to get want. just that velvet smooth ride wherever you go. It's and, the best. And as we walk back, all right, we got uh, our keyless entry right above here, and this is really more than than keyless entry. I mean, you can control a number of features with this: your baggage doors, your awnings. It just you just need to know the codes. Yeah. So this yeah. is just front door only. Right. So this does not do the okay. baggage compartments, but just the front door. But you know, obviously, right. you don't want to bring your uh, keys around yeah, with that's you. My Bad. I get so yeah. involved with because you know I have okay. I have so many brands that I'm trying to do videos from. So that's that's my fault. That's yep. why you're here to correct me. So hey, I appreciate that. I'm sure it's I'll always a, a learning experience myself. as well. So uh, let's 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 keep the outside yep. tour going. Yep, nice big Michelin tires on mm -hmm. board. You know, obviously the bigger the rubber, the better the ride. And you know, we always choose to go with Michelin brand because it's going to be higher quality. And then obviously aluminum wheels are something that we're always going to make standard. And then when you move on back here, yeah. You can see your propane tank has now been relocated, mm -hmm. and, and we'll get to why later. Okay. We have a new heating system that we're really excited to talk about this year, and I'll, I'll leave everybody hanging so that there's a little Spoiler. anticipation. But, but uh, we, we did have to, yeah, we did have to move the propane yeah. tank. But it's a nice location too, because yeah. let's face it, everybody likes to right. barbecue, so yeah. it's right here and available on the patio side to make it easy. And, and right under there, you can see the front hydraulic jack. And you know, I think the hydraulic jacks are, are, are so much bigger performers than the, the, the spring-loaded jacks. And these are, I mean, the auto leveling. It's one touch, you're done. Yep, it's uh, it's it's what we call dual action. Okay. So they're, they're they go down and up through hydraulics. We mm -hmm. don't rely on the springs to bring them back up again so they're much more reliable and it's a four-point system so it's very stable 
um, so that you can make sure when you're walking around you're not going inter to interrupt anybody, if, and, especially if they're sleeping. And, and Marla says she's looking for the best coach for a family of five for our, uh, five to tour the U.S. Well, we have plenty of products that, that will suit you. When we get inside, we're going to talk about the different options and floor plans you can get in the J40, the different seating options. But So hang, hang on for the inside, Marla. Let's talk about the uh, storage bays. Uh, one, they're huge. Uh, we have our, uh, these are the extra chairs for the, uh, this one has the buffet dinette in there, we'll show you, but pull-out trays that withstand a lot. You can see the frame rails in there, and these well, you are can see, crazy I mean, these, solid These are heavy. solid. I mean, these yeah. will hold 800 pounds, so yeah. you can see there's no flex right. in this, and you can slide it either way, and... And yeah, so it really makes a huge difference. And you know, although you'll probably never have to need them unless mm -hmm. you drop something really heavy. Um, one thing I always like yeah. to point out too is this tile. This and tile, heavy tile is amazing too. how thick it is. I mean, you can look at the yep. thickness of this tile here. It's it's crazy. This is all porcelain, and uh, you know, we I think it all comes from Italy, Italy or China or somewhere. But anyway, it's, it's really fancy, nice stuff. And and uh, we do put a substrate underneath our tile um, when we build these coaches. Yeah. And um, it really can withstand a lot of, 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 of vibration and, and energy because, again, you know, this is basically like a moving earthquake yeah. going down the road. So we, we, we prevent problems from happening by the way we manufacture and Now, listen, listen, listen to this clunk when we close these. I mean, this is solid. Ready? Boom. Solid. Well, and, and, you know, that just reminded me, Steve, yeah. another thing is we've thickened our baggage compartments uh, for this year. And, and you'll notice, too, the thickness of the outside skins. Mm -hmm. We went from a .060 aluminum to a .060. Oh, eight oh. Okay. So it's it's a it's a thicker aluminum. Um, it's just a heavier door, a better insulated door, and we also develop better seals for uh, the baggage compartments as well. Because as we know, when we're driving down the road, you know there can be that that water that comes sure. up, especially on a day like today. And we just want to make sure everything within your basement is going to be protected. Uh, Eddie wants to know: Is this a four season unit? It is now, okay. more so than ever. I, mean, okay. I would say everything that we build is four season because mm -hmm. we do duct heat on mm -hmm. our propane uh, furnaces down into, right. the, into the basement compartment. But now that we, I guess we will go ahead and say it, <laughs> we added Aqua Hot for this year. There's a new system mm -hmm. called the 250P, okay. uh, which is powered by propane or okay. electricity. And so we've actually designated a heat exchanger down in the basement now. Okay. So there's more BTUs of heat that are going down in the basement. So, yes, if you want to go out and travel in four seasons, this would be the perfect motorhome for you. Awesome. All right, as we continue, what else we got down here? Adam, let's keep rolling. There's just more this. storage, Steve. It just oh, keeps going outlet, on and on. you got outlets out there. Yep, you got it. And uh, you can see some of the connections uh -huh. for the, the central vac. Yeah, we, we um, broke that out because we, uh, we, we got out of the picture. So we're going to show that when we get inside. We're going to plug it and stuff. So that's why we. Yeah, and it's all pebble lines. Yeah. So, you know, um, two things. I mean, first of all, it's white. So in low light situations, it's much easier to see down in the basement. And it's also pebble fiberglass. So there is some insulation characteristics to it. So um, it, it's going to mm -hmm. keep and protect the, um, any perishables uh, from, from having problems down there. All righty. And then finally, the yeah. wet bay compartment. Yeah. And again, I mentioned that there is heat that we that we send down there through a heat exchanger down in this area. Uh, but there's also a fresh water fill. Okay. So you know, if you a gravity water fill, we like to call it. So if you want to fill up that manually, you can. Um, and then obviously your black and your gray tanks as well. And and uh, you know, we have really large size capacities with all of those because you know there are people that like to boondock even in yeah. these larger vehicles. Uh, dry camp, we, oh, sure. we also call it, and, and uh, so we're, we're trying to accommodate those types of folks. Which makes it real easy to do with the solar charging, which I know we have our, our controller yeah. in yeah, here. Yeah, and I think yeah. we've got one more to go here yep. before we hit there, sure. and then this, so those are your chassis okay. batteries. There is a disconnect um, in here, so if you know, you're going to be storing the coach for extended periods of time and you want to shut off the chassis battery so there isn't a parasitic drain okay. uh, that would occur, because even if you turn everything off, there's still going to be you know, very sl right. l you know, slight voltage that this is being taken up there, and those are 12 volts, so they're they're maintenance free. You don't have to worry about those batteries whatsoever. And uh, Eddie says, "What is the smallest size available in the Venetian?" That's the M36, correct? The G36. G36. Yes. That's right. G36. That's, right. So that's what I got my CDL on. Was the G36? Yeah. So I have a I have a special relationship. So here is uh, your solar charger, and uh, your so kind of walk us through here. So let's start here on the right. So whenever you see a white magnum inverter. That okay. tells me something important, and that okay. means this is a pure sine wave inverter. Okay. So we spend extra money. As the coaches get more expensive, um, all the electronics, all the appliances, they get upgraded, 
And what this does is this converts the direct current to alternating current okay. with a much clearer s signal. So basically all of the things that function on 110 in this coach are, are going to get better, cleaner energy. So essentially the lifetime of those appliances is going to be longer. Nice. And, and so, and it's also with this inverter, we, we couple a, uh, an auto generator start feature. Okay. So uh, I know a lot of folks get concerned about residential refrigerators because sure. across the industry, that's all we're using right. anymore. Um, but what's nice is, is that you can basically set up and we'll go inside and show you the multiplex yeah. panel. But when your voltage reaches 12, you could have already had it set so that it's going to kick that generator on. You're never going to lower yeah. your voltage uh, below where it needs to be. And then, you know, transitioning into what you were talking about, Steve, uh, we do use a 100-watt solar okay. panel standard on the roof of all of our coaches. And, and uh, it's just, Go Power is, is the brand name, and, and they just do a phenomenal job. We're the first RV manufacturer in the industry to offer standard solar across the board. That's nice. And... Obviously, with the the size of Thor Motor Coach right. and Thor Industries, we leverage our economies of scale to get a pretty good deal, and 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 you know we we decide to make it standard, so we make it very affordable for our customers, and this is going to pay for itself over the course oh. of time because this provides a nice steady charge to the house and the chassis batteries. Um, it starts with the house, but if the the house battery is mm -hmm. full, it actually uh, push that power so, over so to the chassis side. So does it work side. in essence? Is it is it essentially kind of like a trickle charger? It's not a trickle charger. It's charge not a trickle charger. It's a okay. steady charge. Steady I mean, it's charge. legitimate. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it really does a phenomenal job. And, you know, it, it's something that customers today with the new technology right. need to have. And I know we get a lot of questions about solar, and, and, and the Venetian has it. And so when it starts to come out like today, boy, what a great day to, uh, to, to put that in to keep your batteries charged when you're and out there. You know, I don't believe in options. Yeah. Um, the, the industry in general mm -hmm. likes to make options on the coaches right. to be able to i guess make more money right and you know we want to do the things on these coaches that we know a customer is going to need right. and and so when you look at some of the other competitors they're putting twenty thousand dollars worth of options on coaches and charging like a thousand dollars or more Which for a insane. solar panel it, it's it's almost like it's almost criminal and, what they're doing and it, it was and you kind of you kind of stole my pitch from when we walked inside and i looked <laughs> at that uh, and the sticker but let's let's go ahead and talk about that right now because when you look at the sticker on the venetian it will say options Boop, big fat goose egg and and that that helps in in resale value as well we've sure. talked about that before yeah well so i meet a lot of folks yeah. on the road and, and they always tell me adam this is my last motorhome but uh -huh. we happen to know that about every four <laughs> and a half not. years you're going to yeah. trade and my job is to come up with new ideas and and our and our, the rest of our guys and, and gals that work here um to give you reasons to want to you know get into a newer right. better coach and and um, when you drive away from a dealership with a new RV mm -hmm. and there's any options on the coach, those options literally disappear from the value of the vehicle. There's, there's zero value to it. I mean, there is a sheet in NADA that mm -hmm. calls it out, but I can tell you the dealers don't look at it. Yeah. Um, they just look at whatever the value of the floor plan is. And so if we pack everything into the base price, we're saving customers a lot of depreciation. All right, let's walk around uh, to the back here. And when we get inside, Eddie, we'll talk. Well, you know what? While we're back here, if you, you, you needed to do maintenance, uh, let's talk about, Eddie wants to know about the air conditioners, on roof or ducted? So they're, they're on the roof, but we don't have any uh, downstairs centrally okay. um, type ACs. There was a company that used to do it, and, and it really didn't work well because you're having to force. Um, in fact, one of the companies I used to work for in Beaver did okay. it a long time ago. Um, but no, having them on top is better because then the air drops. But okay. you know, we do some things with with a, a multiple air return system, and I'll point that out okay. when we get inside because sure. you get a better idea of it. But no, these are both uh, 15 B2 okay. air conditioners, and each of them individually have heat pumps on board. All right, so out back we have uh, access to uh, our, our motor. We got our ladder. We got our backup camera, our docking lights. Sure. So one of the things that I, I, talk, I talk about, and it comes up from time to time, but there's a perception in this business that a side mount radiator is a better cooling mm -hmm. system. Um, I want to go ahead and get that out there right now with customers. We've tested both ways. Right. We do use a side mount radiator in the Tuscany, but having a rear radiator does not make it mm -hmm. to where it doesn't cool as effectively. Uh, and that's proven, you know, when we go to Bosch and some of these other test tracks and, and do all that. So this, 
In fact, I've been with Thor now for almost eight years, and I haven't had a single cooling issue that I've been personally made aware of. So that, that makes me feel really confident. And while we're back here, 10,000-pound hitch. Correct. Yep, it's got a 10,000-pound hitch on board. So, you know, I, I mentioned the 38,320 for the gross vehicle okay. weight rating. Uh, the gross combined is going to be 48,320. So you're going to get a full 10,000 pounds of available that you can pull uh, alongside it. And then you'll notice that the seven-way connection yeah. is actually integrated into the cap. Some of the companies will put it on an L bracket down low oh, or then, then, then get knocked and the off. Light, yeah. Oh, this Not is good. just a cleaner look. Yeah, a much better. And then another thing that never gets brought up, but look at these taillights. So we spend that's some money high. on these taillights, and you see how high they are? Yeah, that's, find, and that's for a reason. Yeah, you'll, you'll see a lot of units where, where the taillights are down low. Right. And the problem is, is that most everybody's going to tow something, so we want to bring them up higher right. so that it's really visible because typically, you know, even if you wire your tow vehicle, it's not really going to signal ver you know people behind right. you very much. You're really going to see this coach braking uh, when, when, you're, when you're falling behind it. Uh, and then you look up top here, yeah. you got your, your camera. So mm -hmm. this has side cameras, which we'll show you when we get around okay. to the, the side mirrors. But it's got a rear camera. And then there's also two other lights on either side. Those are docking lights. Okay. Uh, we, we found that a lot of customers like to travel at night. Right. Um, a lot of these campgrounds don't have a very good lighted park. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why not put some extra lights up there to make it easier to... to I know you've gone on a number of uh, RV trips as well. You always plan, we'll get there by, we'll get there by six. And the next thing you know, you stop to see this, or you stop to do this, and it's 10 o'clock. So it's pitch black when you pull in. And you, you, you want that option. It's, you want uh, it as bright It when you're takes in. forever to pack one of these things when you don't <laughs> own it. You know, this is the nice thing about owning one is you can leave all your stuff in there. But I always never plan enough. Yeah. So two years ago when we went northern Michigan, I think we showed up at 3 a.m. <laughs> and then and then last year we went to Cedar Point. I think it was something like seven or eight at night. Yeah. And yeah, I mean it's you never get there when you want to. Yeah, so I did a little better this year. But you just enjoy so, the ride, right? That's, yeah, that's that's, that's part right. of it. As we come around here, yeah. uh, we have our uh, 50 amp service. That's we right. Got our surge protector. We got uh, batteries over here. Yeah. So the transfer switch has built-in surge protection okay. on it. Um, unfortunately, some of the parks that you go to don't have the most reliable electricity. Right. So we want to make sure we protect the full house system from any problems that may mm -hmm. occur. Yeah, we were. Uh, we went and uh, if you watched, uh, for folks watching this day, if you watched the, the video that uh, we did on the uh, B plus, the Gemini uh, versus the, the, the B van, the campground we were at, uh, it looked like... Um, it was, we'll just say it was very MacGyvered electrical, so plugging in okay. was a little uh, a little scary. So you run into that at some places where you go. Sure, and, and then, you know, just talking about the house, so yeah. you, you have six, um, or sorry, four six-volt house batteries, but you see the vertical height here yeah. you have above? So these these batteries require distilled water to, 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 to remain healthy. Okay. And a lot of times you'll find with manufacturers that they don't have the foresight to make sure that there, mm -hmm. there's easy access, especially to the, the batteries that are parked more towards the okay. center of the coach. In fact, there's a couple companies I was looking at here recently that they have them in the storage area, and literally there's a panel. And, I mean, if you're not limber, you're not getting to them. Yeah. And you need usually a, you know one of those um, funnels and oh, flashlights to be able to yeah. do it. Oh, it's, no. it's amazing. We want, to make it, we want to make it as easy for the customer to, to, to get yeah, what One thing I didn't yeah. mention, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just noticing right yeah. now because I forget sometimes. You have to forgive me. Yeah. But you see how the belt line is completely straight yeah. on this coach? Yep. So a couple of years ago, um, we got in and we redesigned the Tuscany and Venetian. Okay. And because these coaches are essentially all hydraulic other than this small bed slide, mm -hmm. we built in a lot of structure to be able to handle these bigger full right. wall slides. There's a competitor of ours that likes to talk about the fact that they don't ever use full wall slides mm -hmm. because they believe they're not structurally very strong. Well, I agree with, with that manufacturer. If they want to build their coaches that way, mm -hmm. they should not be building full wall slides. But with us, we put a steel floor in. It's, it's, it's aircraft-grade aluminum sidewalls and roof. That. The right steel here. just in the Atlas Foundation yeah. is beefed up, and we anchor our hydraulic rams to the frame rails. Mm -hmm. I mean, this coach is, is, is like a tank. Well, the, the other thing you're talking about, being structurally sound in, in some of the way the other companies do it, is the way we do it's a lot different. We don't have, you know, a stockpile of slide walls just, you know, lined up, and we shove this one in here, this one in here. This slide wall actually came out up here. We cut them out and they go back into the piece where they were cut and that makes a huge it, it, difference it, in structural it did, integrity. It did. And so, we sp first of all, we spent a lot of money on steel in the chassis. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot more than I've seen anybody else do. Um, I, I mentioned the, the strength in the floors. 
there's two manufacturers to compete against that build their floors out of two by fours. Okay. So, you know, wood is, is going to make it quiet, right. but, you know, over the course of time, wood or steel, what would yeah. you rather have tying the whole right. house of this coach together? I just mentioned this coach potentially could weigh 38,000 pounds. Do you want it holding on to wood to a chassis? Yeah. No, I don't think so. And then the side walls are vacuum bonded along with the floor mm -hmm. and the roof. You have to understand that there's certain manufacturers in this business, mm -hmm. their origin was Tobel manufacturing. Okay. And so what essentially happened is a lot of their manufacturing techniques basically came from Tobel manufacturing. Okay. You know, you don't have the velocity, you don't have the stress, you don't have all those things that you're having to deal with. And so with the investment that Thor Motor Coach has made in manufacturing machinery mm -hmm. and techniques really has allowed us and opened up opportunities for us to build coaches with more room in them. And when you that's get, what it is. When you get inside, folks, the amount of room is because uh, I, I, I did. I walked in this yesterday. We had it. It's still pretty clean. We got it straight out of the factory. We cleaned it up and we opened it up because I hadn't been in it yet. I was like, wow. Gudge did another bang up job. It's cool, and it's not me. I mean, they're, yeah. they're, you know, Matt Grubaugh was the one who originally designed this floor plan, and you know, he deserves, yeah, all the credit. I mean, I, I give him a few ideas here and there, but he's he's a magician. And then Marine, obviously, our designer is unbelievable as well. Also, there's side docking lights as well, okay. so it's not just on the rear. So obviously, you want to miss stuff on the side of the coaches as well. Um, you can see that. Um, and then on this on this wet bay compartment, like what I like to refer to it as, you have a few things. Okay. You have central water uh, filtration, so any of the water coming in the vehicle is, is going to be dealt with. Um, we have you know new valving system, mm -hmm. um, the Anderson system that really does a great job, makes it easy to winterize. Uh, people wonder, well, how do I get the tube? Right. Well, this actually will pivot, so you can see you can actually turn this up. I always like to turn it up at the end because oh, yeah. the drip you don't want at the that. end is the you least don't favorite want part. Any, you don't want any you, know, you always want to dump black before gray, yeah. but but um, always you know yeah. tip that up at the end. You can see you have a nice large yeah. uh, fresh water dump, so when you want to get rid of your water before you're leaving, um, you know mm -hmm. everything is really well contained you got down the, here. The removable water filter, which is really easy to clean, that just screws off. A little mesh in there. You got your outdoor shower. You got your water pumps. So everything you need right here contained into. Yep one bay really really easy yep. to deal with all right and as we move forward i think we got uh these are the pass-throughs yep that's the same side mm -hmm. of that and, and then the and windows you know we didn't mention windows yeah, oh, but everything's, everything's thermal pane okay. dual pane windows um you know we we were concerned a little bit a few years ago when we, we first decided to go only frameless. Mm -hmm. uh, but when where we really made a difference is you'll notice that they're all top hinged. Yeah. Um, a number of our competitors that use a frameless window, uh, they actually have the the uh, the brakes in the middle, mm -hmm. so there's very little ventilation that can get in. And then the other problem is when you're sitting on the sofa or your chair and you mm -hmm. look out, all you see is that bar, bar. where the hinge is. Uh, with ours being up top, it gives you better ventilation. Mm -hmm. And, and, and obviously, you're not going to have anything interfering with your view. All right. And we got to show off the Aqua Hot. Where is that at? There it is. The 250P Aqua Hot, which is really just a... The Aqua Hots do such an amazing job at, I mean, you know, keeping, you know, you, your instant hot water. You got uh, the heating with it. It's just a... It, and what a great addition to the Venetian. So we do a lot of training, and we right. go around and talk to salespeople about you know, the different systems that are on the units. And I always ask a question of them when we go um, on these visits. I say, well, what's the biggest advantage of Aquat? Right. And nine times out of 10, salespeople always say to me, it's because you get unlimited hot water. And mm -hmm. that's what we hear from customers too that have never owned the right. system. The biggest advantage of this system, Steve, yeah. is this system will not take the moisture out of the air. And so what happens is with a propane furnace okay. is over the course of time, because although we have more square footage than anybody else, it's still a limited amount of space. Mm -hmm it becomes uncomfortable. Right. With an Aquat system, you'll never be uncomfortable in cold weather. And so when that gentleman asked earlier about, is this a four right. season coach? The thing that makes this the best is the fact that this is gonna be a much more comfortable, quieter, more consistent heat throughout the vehicle. So your wife, your husband, they're gonna be comfortable. Yeah. All right. Your as kids, everybody. Everybody. All right, as we move on up, we got uh, our generator exhaust. Uh, another the, the dual fuel fills. We dual mentioned fuel the fill. dual fuel fills, so you can pull on in either side. And then yep. we have uh, we have the hydraulics for the uh, for the jacks and, and whatnot in here. Yep. So. And then your generator exhaust yep. is there. And then you can see with the mirrors, they're all chrome, mm -hmm. including chrome arms on them. And then on the very top, top right, right here your is where your cameras are going to be. Right. So yeah, you get really good visibility. Um, when we design our coaches, you know that's that's first and foremost in our minds is you know how do we make it to where the pilot 
right. the driver is going to be as comfortable behind the steering wheel as possible. You know, we see with some of the competition that, you know, they're really closed in. There isn't a lot of vertical height on the mm -hmm. windshield because either they're building the cabinets too far down or the dash is built way up. We really try to provide as much um, visibility as we possibly can because the more visible the coach, the, the happier you're going to be. Absolutely. As we walk around uh, to the front here, we have the... Uh, the uh, LEDs, we have our headlights, our, our, our generator, and there's yep. that giant, uh, giant windshield. Which, yeah, I mean, you got wet arms yeah. on, on the on the windshield wipers, so you know it's all right there right. To, to be able to clean that off, and you know, and then obviously with the caps, we've designed the caps taller. And I know that a lady had asked earlier about the best coach for families. The Venetian's the first motorhome um, in the industry with a front door. Uh, that offered a drop-down overhead bed in the front, so we'll be able to talk a little bit more about that when we get inside. All right, and as we uh, walk our way around here, and then the paint, this yeah, is let's called Bellini, the all right. um, but uh, all of our paint um, is is going to be Sickens brand paint, and uh, you may ask me, well, why don't I bring up right. the name of it? Well, actually, the founders uh, of the the first company uh, to, uh, to to produce a urethane-based uh, paint. Um, is is the Sickens mm -hmm. company or is Asco? I think are, right. is their name. I'm going to screw up the name. I know it, but but with a motorhome, with any RV, right. it's going to see different climates. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, especially if you're talking about Canada to Mex Mexico mm -hmm. or whatever, you can see huge changes in, in the temperatures. And and with that, fiberglass is going to expand and contract. And the Sickens paint has more elasticity okay. to it because it never truly cures all the way and so it actually has the ability to move with the fiberglass so it's not going to splinter or crack and there's other types of paint that's out in the marketplace that's less expensive right. that could potentially cause that problem it could cost you 40 grand to fix the sidewall oh, sure. if, if it checks like that so we, we we spend the extra money to make sure that we're putting the right type of of paint quality onto the exterior and, and, and to give you guys an example you know you're like okay so the sickens paint i'll tell you what the uh mclaren f1 racing team they paint their cars with sickens i just watched a a, a really neat video mm -hmm. on that yeah uh, and some of your high-end German manufacturers, I know the high-end Benzes and, and, and Porsche as well use, uh, uh, or, or Porsche, as uh, they say there over there. And you know what, Edie, I'd like to apologize. Uh, I'll be honest, I, I'm reading off a glary small phone. I don't have my reading glasses on, and I probably should. Edie, I apologize. I was putting an extra D in there. My bad. So I hope we're good, Edie. We're good? All right, we're good. All right, as we go inside, our steps come out, and we... Are about to All right, let's, let's do it. Thanks, All right. Steve. All right, I'll uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Tom. I'll uh, I'll follow you. All right. Oh, I grab that quartz. Tom doesn't. All right. So let's start. I'll go ahead and uh, shut this. Keep the uh, air. And one thing, uh, when you walk in, you'll notice that uh, there are the uh, remote panels. Uh, for boy, your awnings, your house battery, all that stuff. You want to you want to start here. You want to start the cockpit. Let's, let's start in the living yeah, room. Yeah, absolutely. Too. We're going to spend most yeah. of the time. So. We had a different bath and a floor plan called the A40s. So mm -hmm. It's a great floor plan, but there was one thing that, well, two things, I'm sorry, that really bothered me about that floor plan and I wanted to change uh, when we moved into this new J40. And the first thing is the kitchen. Right. I like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I like to cook. Um, you can see the galley is yeah. amazing. Um, the, the A40 did not have anywhere near the mm -hmm. amount of workspace that this one has. You can see that it's got a nice pull-out galley extension on it. Um, the uh, it's got this huge bay window. You know, one of the nice things and the things that we've seen with some of our competition is the fact that uh, they just put backsplashes in no window. But yeah. this, we did the opposite. We put a huge window, window. in um, that, that's right in front of the sink. Um, but, you know, even without this pull-out galaxy synth, there's a huge amount of space, uh -huh. lots of storage, you know, lots of overhead cabinet space. We even tucked a little bit above here. Um, you know, brand new Whirlpool microwave uh, convection style. And um, they've even done a better job with the edge treatment on the backsplashes yeah. so it all matches. So it's, it's really some, a, a fantastic galley. Um, it's a galley that we use in a lot of our brands now because we've had such good feedback from our customers mm -hmm. about it. And um, it, it just makes this coach. Um, then the second thing that we keep getting more and more requests for are fireplaces. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I've mentioned fireplaces before. I, I have a girlfriend that mm -hmm. she wishes there's one in every room of the house. But um, anyway, it's, it's just a really nice, comfortable thing. It produces a lot of heat. It can, in fact, you heat the whole motorhome practically by itself. 
Um, you know, you have a nice TV above it, which is very residential. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it really makes for it. And then obviously there's a second television as well uh, that you can yeah, either have up or yeah. bring down. Um, and we do that uh, simply for the fact that in a lot of cases with this coach, um, there's usually two primary owners. And so we put and position a TV directly across right. from these theater seats, Steve. So fully you know, when we, when we want to relax and, and you know watch the NBA Finals or, or whatever your pleasure, you know you're good. And it's a huge television; it's 55 inches. And you know if you get tired of looking at it, you just bring it bring down. Button. And those are one of the remote uh, panels for the multiplex. Yeah, so it'll, it'll talk bring to. it down. And so you know if you have guests over, mm -hmm. you know one of the reasons why we put this other TV in the center is you can flip these two cab chairs around mm -hmm. and. You know, you have a really nice uh, viewing uh, angle for, uh, for for the rest of the coach. And, you know, tons of seating. It, it's, it's just amazing to me that we're able to put a galley like this in and opposing seating, you know, and a huge dinette and a fireplace and, a, you know, and, 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 and. And, and I'll, and I'll up your and, one more and. There are different seating options you can get in the J40 if you want. There are, there are. So if you if you have more people and you need more seating on this side, there's a sofa mm -hmm. that's available in it. Um, you know, we, we have people that ask for a desk, mm -hmm. and we offer a desk over here mm -hmm. instead of instead of a, a sofa, mm -hmm. so that you you know if you have a workspace or maybe you like to work from the road. Mm -hmm. You know, the nice thing about the internet and technology is you don't necessarily have to work from a home that's right. in one place. You well, can you can move around. Let's talk a little technology because we have the uh, Weingart Connect 2.0 on this. So you are sure you are you are a traveling 4G hotspot in this baby. Yeah, and what's cool is that the new one um, you don't even have to rely on Weingart anymore. Um, you can actually use your, your own, own SIM card, provider. right? Yeah. yeah, you just switch out the SIM card and you can, yeah. you know, if you're a Verizon person yeah. or AT&T, you can do that Which too. Which is really cool. It's really easy to set up and I, I, we are working on a video on how to set that up for you, all right? So keep watching for that. That's in the works. It'll be good. I promise. I promise. All right. The other thing I want to point out too as we sit here as the sun starts to come out, and I'll be honest, I love these sunshades. Are they I nice? mean, they're amazing. One, we like them because when we're shooting videos, it really cuts down the outdoor yeah, glare. You don't even have to pull no, the full, I mean, it's, full it's, privacy it's amazing. shade down. It's yeah, amazing. no, it really does a good job. And, you know, we're a big window company, and, and I'm, a, I'm huge into that because yeah. I feel like if you're going to be in an RV, you know, you want to experience your surroundings right. as much as you possibly can. And so, you know, where people don't put windows in half baths, we do. Where people don't put windows in kitchens, we do. You can see we even put them on the sides Side. of the yep. slides as well. So, um, you know, whenever we can, we try to open up the environment to them. Well, the other thing, too, if, if you look around, I mean, from, you know, we got the cup holders here. We have the, the, the storage. Guys, storage. Too, That's we max, right we, in here. we maximize, and it's, it's deep, deep storage, I mean, I too. Even hardly reach we the we maximize it. our space. Look at over at the buffet net, just the size of that countertop. It's massive. There. I mean, the depth of this thing, and, yeah. and you know, I, I've actually taken a tape measure to some of the other competitors' ones, and they're usually about half that depth, and it also allows us to make, put a bigger table in, because yeah. you can actually put all four, four chairs yep. and sit people. It's not a typical thing, yeah. and, and look how much storage is in that thing. And the uh, sofa over here, that makes into a bed. It does. Real easy. There's our, uh, you were talking about the overhead bunk. Yeah, There's so our overhead bunk. So Let's this is really out. cool. Yeah. Um, so this drops down. And this will hold 500 pounds, and um, it's already got a mattress built into yep. it. And, uh, yeah, so it'll, it'll come right down. There's a ladder that yep, hooks on. Yeah, we just keep that right under yep, there. There it is. And, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's out of the way. You know, one of the things that we've always had to do in this business when designing floor plans is put a hide -a bed in mm -hmm. because, you know, that, you always had to have a second sleeping source. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that it's cumbersome to have to make this into a bed every right. night. You get up in the morning, and you're trying to walk around, and you're, you're stumbling yeah. over things. With this, I mean, it really keeps your living room environment available to you. You know, and if you have to get down and out, it's, it's, not, it's, still it's, it's, not, it's yeah. not a big deal. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really a great feature. This actually came originally from Italy. Um, we found the design, and, and uh, it's just fantastic. And, you know, we do this across the board right. now. Um, I'm going to pick on Jeff Kime, our president, a little <laughs> bit, because uh, originally when we came up with the idea for this, you know, he wasn't so sure about it. And then we walked in the prototype yeah. of Venetian, the first one, and he looks at me and says, you're going to put this in everything. Aren't you? <laughs> so I, I was pretty happy about that. Sorry, Jeff. I had to, I had to remind him. Uh, let's go ahead. You. 
and, and, and talk about, because you can look around and just the, the, the high gloss handcrafted cabinet work. I mean, one, it's it's everywhere. It's solid. It stays shut and it's gorgeous. It's almost manufactured yeah. and, and my history in the, in the, in the industry, um, it actually goes all the way back to Beaver Motorhomes. Okay. And in the 80s, uh, Beaver was actually the first company, and they're Oregon company, okay. by the way, which I like to talk about in my home state. But um, they were the first to put residential cabinets in motorhomes. Well, by doing so, they became the most popular RV in the industry. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen a lot of the other companies start doing things like that. Well, we're in an Amish area, so this craftsmanship, yeah. we can capitalize on it. Because you have three generational type Sawyers oh, yeah. here. So they really do a great job. And, and you can see all the, all the styles mm -hmm. and rails are hardwood. All your fascias are hardwood. We put the extra lacquer on. It's all, all maple. That's the species of it. Um, and then we, when you couple that with the, all, the solid surface throughout, even in the bedroom of yeah. this coach, everything that you put your hands on is solid surface. So there's a lot of expense that goes into the materials in this coach. You know, if the chassis can last you 500,000 to a million miles, we might as well make the cabinets and all the main features of this coach you know, things right. are going to be durable and reliable for a very long time. And while we're in here, uh, before we forget, we were talking, uh, answering one of our questions about the uh, the air conditioning system in the yes. vents. So let's talk about the, the vents, the returns, and because you don't see, you don't see, and like in some motorhomes, just that big square cut out in the air, just it's it's nice and vented and it's comfortable throughout. I was in Oklahoma, and Missouri last week, traveling and seeing a bunch of our dealers, and it was really hot. And I was pointing out in some of the other companies that they carry there that a lot of times what happens is is that you'll have a return on one side okay. and then a dump on the other or they just put them into the air conditioning unit okay. and so they're only in how, right. forever many air conditioners but if you add multiple returns and you locate them out here this is where the bad air exists and so we want to draw that back into okay. the system and we want to dump the cold air down the middle and, and that that just makes the airflow much better okay. but then there's another reason yeah there's another big reason. So if you own a diesel, you're probably going to use the motorhome on the road a lot more. Okay. Um, one of the really great things about being an RVer and being a motorhome owner, for those of you out there that are thinking about doing it but haven't, is that this coach, when all the slides come in, mm -hmm. we've designed it to where you can still use everything. But guess what? The air conditioners are in the middle. They're right. not being blocked by the slides coming in. So that's one of the real negatives of some of the competition where they put their air conditioners. But the, the great thing about RVing is that you don't have to stop RVing while you're heading to your new de right. destination. You get to have as much fun, fun when you're on, on the road. road. Sometimes you have even more fun. And, and one of the great things as we talk about the amount of room is because, I mean, I know you travel with your family. How many times is your, well, you got a boy, so he can hold it like a camel, like, but I have, I have three girls, or I, I have know. two daughters and my wife, and so we're stopping, yeah. and so at least in a coach like this, you can make your way to that, to, no, to the first No, Sean, path. Sean, I, I, we always take Emmanuel, his buddy, yeah. with us, and yeah, no, trust me, they, they <laughs> use the system. Dad, I gotta plan. stop! Well, in yeah. this, you can, you can make your way back to right. the, uh, And then one thing I wanted oh. to mention, sister, yeah, yeah, right yeah. here is, um, so with these types of slide systems being all hydraulic other than just the bed, um, we have versatility with even our dinette. So um, this is the standard dinette in the coach, mm -hmm. which we call a cantilever buffet. Okay. And you can see it's it's huge. And it actually, yeah. it'll store away when you're not using it. I won't go all the way. Oh, but you mess it, up my, I, I, you know how long I spent getting this? And here's Steve, it looked really good. You, know you were what? trained well. I, I, honestly, I'll tell you a story. Is, is when we're setting the tables, this is something I, I learned from my mother-in-law. Uh, when it came to setting, she says, and it was something like the fork left because the knife and the spoon were right. And it was something that, uh, one of those things that stuck with me. So uh, okay. now now I know. So now you know. The fork left because the knife and the spoon. I, right. had, I had a grandma, that was a Belgian grandmother, and she was a gourmet. Yeah. And, man, and she beat it into me. Yeah. And she made me have, they put these plastic on the yeah. dinette oh, chairs. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And I think I had that on there until I was 13. I mean, she just <laughs> didn't trust me. But, oh, yeah, trust me. She made sure that I knew, too. Um, but, yeah, so there is a, bu uh, there yeah. is a uh, booth dinette available in this okay. space in addition. We call it the dream dinette because sure. it's a sleepable dinette, yeah. Steve. So, you know, again, if you, you put a sofa here, sofa here. You know, you got the drop-down bed and a, and a, I mean, you could probably sleep, what, is that eight people? Oh, easy. I mean, because we, yeah, we to. folded, uh, we, when we were shooting our, our video for this, we folded that, made it in a bed two on that, easy. You can get two up there, one, two, three, four, the dinette's big, I mean, you can, yeah, it's, it's a big coach. I did, I, uh, I coach. went to the Kentucky Derby back in, it was, I don't think, like 2002, yeah. and seven of us shared a, a double slide, uh, Safari Serengeti, and 
I don't think I'd ever do that again. But these new ones with all this. So, more so stay open right there. Space. You're talking about oh. traveling with seven and traveling with kids. Something else I want to show you. We got out today, and we showed you the box. You got a central vac. Yes. I, we got it out and put it together, and you just plug this right into here, and away you go. And and, and you're sweeping the floor, okay. just like that. So I mean, it's it's just one of those neat little features that we include. Um, you know, to help you keep your uh, hand light porcelain tile Perfect. floor. Perfect. I'm just going to store that right and, you there. Know, I, and I didn't talk about it, but I, yeah. I, I probably should. Um, the depth of these of these cabinets, mm -hmm. too. So, you know, one of the things I always like to point out with people is if you even put, like, one of these, uh, these cushions, and you can see it'll lay flat and then still close. So they're a lot deeper. Yeah. As a customer, you never have enough storage in an RV. Mm -hmm. It's just not, it's impossible. I mean, the size of the, of, again, our competition, they, right. they, can, they can try to copy our floor plans, yeah. but they don't do it all the way. Right. And so just make sure you look at these little things because they mean a huge difference to you. And then one of the other things I'm proud of, and yeah. this one I can't take credit for because okay. most of the stuff is somebody else <laughs> other than me, yeah. um, is that we went to a bigger refrigerator okay. in the Venetian than what the RE has. This is a 21 cubic. Mm -hmm. But when we did so, we lost the pantry. So what okay. we did is we actually built the pantry, pantry all the way side. up to the top, though. <laughs> nice. So you get this huge pantry. pantry that we thought we were losing in the yeah. floor plan, and we got a little creative. Oh, just, and that's where we talk about usable space, because yeah. what else would you do with the space between? Well, you, you, know, know, you always have here. usually an, it, there's nothing, but right. now you get the whole thing, yeah. right? So you get all the way up. Yeah. So yeah. here's our uh, multiplex wiring system. You're talking about uh, your auto gen start. I mean, oh, yeah, this, this really does everything. It's, it's, it's uh, Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. uh, you download the app, and we had a whole video on, on all the features, but that's where you set your uh, auto gen start right here. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, it's... Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah and the inverter charger yeah. system, and then all your lighting. Yep. You can turn all it on and off at one time. You know, that's some, like, it's kind of just going to be frustrating. Plus, you know which light turns on. I mean, how many times have you had a customer say, well, I wish you labeled them. Well, guess what? They're labeled hey, now. Everything. Um, and then it's on the app yeah. for your phone. Um, your temperature controls, you can see you have them all here. Um, and again, I mentioned there is heat pumps on the air, so down to about 43 degrees, okay. uh, you can use the heat pumps if you don't want to burn any propane. Um, and then one of the other ones I really like, um, so there's your fans, but then is the slide systems. Mm -hmm. So everything is color-coded, you know, exactly what to move and when not to. Uh, make sure you level your coaches, folks, before you use your slide-outs. Right. That's the way they're designed. Um, if nobody's ever told you, you, you've heard it now. And then you also have some other settings here. You know, probably the biggest advantage, though, to multiplex has nothing to do with how fancy and cool it looks, right. but the fact that we've actually eliminated a lot of complexity from our coaches. So um, the number one problem that RVs have, whether it be a towable or a motorhome, and this is across the board for the industry, are electrical problems. Right. And by using multiplex, we're essentially communicating frequency through computer modules, and so we've eliminated wiring from the coaches to the extent of about 12 pounds That's per unit. That's a lot of wire. It's a, a ton of wire. wire. And because RVs are complex, mm -hmm. we can't build them with robots. We have to right. use human beings. So the less installation we have them mm -hmm. do, the less opportunity for a problem. And then if there is a problem, you can actually go into this system and you can actually troubleshoot it. You don't have to trace a wire to its right. end to figure out you know, where the disconnect is. It'll actually help you evaluate and troubleshoot an issue so that you can be back on the road much quicker. All right. It's really an advantage. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, Tom, go ahead and peek in here. We got uh, our half bath right up there. And again, solid surface, yep. solid surface. Medicine sink, cabinet. Backsplash as well. Um, yeah, medicine cabinet with plenty of storage in it. Um, and it's roomy. I mean, you know, one of the things you can, you'll can you see with certain half bathrooms is that they get really, really skinny. And, and so, you know, a larger person cannot sit down yeah. comfortably, um, and, and we don't do that. We, we make it comfortable for everybody. Got a question coming off of YouTube, Adam. Uh, someone asked, what type of underlayment sheeting is used with the tile floor? So that's a great question. So we use uh, what's called Hardy Backer, okay. and it's a, it's a fiber cement board, and it's, it's a quarter of an inch, and we lay it down underneath all our tile. Yeah. And, and, and you'll notice when you compare us to a lot of our competitors, our, our chassis ratings are, are significantly higher in a lot of cases, and that is because we're accounting for the weight of that underlayment. And it, it makes a huge difference because, Steve, I don't care how good of a job we do designing this Atlas mm -hmm. foundation for the J40, there's still going to be some energy because this is a rolling earthquake down the road. We, we go to the Kitchen and Bath Show, which also happens to have the Home Builder Show going mm -hmm. on at the same time. All the new home builders today are putting some type of an underlayment yeah. material down. So what I ask you guys is, why wouldn't every manufacturer do that on an RV? Because 
it's a much more significant yeah. situation in an RV than a house that's just worried about settling. Right. Everybody should be doing it. And, and, and guess what? You know, for those guys that are out there that are buying coaches with one-year warranties, which most of yeah. us have, you know, do you think they're going to cover the tile for you after it cracks three or four years down the road? Absolutely not. No. That's why we build these coaches right. the right way, so they're going to be able to handle it. Let's talk about storage. Go ahead and open this. Open your closet there. Okay. We, we have these babies filled. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I mean, and the nice thing is they're adjustable shelves. Very you colorful, know, we got, Well, you know what? My uh, Look at that. Yeah, we got... Uh, Does your wife go shopping for you? You, you know what? Honestly, we, did, uh, we, we had some closets put in and we purged, and this was some of the stuff that, since she doesn't do uh, TV news anymore... I see. Uh, some of her, from her clothes, but we thought, yeah, it, it can hold all your favorite colors. Perfect. You know? Like so, it. yeah. So, adjustable shelves, lots of room in there. Nice and deep as well. Yeah, they're very deep. Yeah. And, and so, the reason why we can do that is because we have this tilt-to-view bed, and, and, and so... You know, people are like, oh, it's great because you can sit up and watch TV in bed. Well, it does that, but it also allows for us to build these cabinets okay. much deeper. And, and so it allows us to put more wardrobe mm -hmm. in the coaches. And then you can see the drawers underneath yep. are amazing. Well, uh, they're so deep. And, and there's even drawers, drawers underneath. Under here. Yeah, I mean, got we got it. a lot of drawers. Yeah, and we built this out. So um, we actually looked at and saw the opportunity uh, to extend the, the, um, the drawers down below by another four inches. Okay. Um, again, just little things. And obviously, it, it costs money to do that. But, you know, we feel like this is a floor plan yeah. that's going to stand the test of time. So we, we did this on all of the floor plans that we have because we want to give people right. as much storage as possible. Another little thing is I noticed, see, I can get by on, yep. on this bed to the side. So king beds were not the norm okay. um, back in the middle 2000s. And some of the companies that didn't have the engineering resources, rather than redesigning the floor plan to accommodate a king, all they did is they just got rid of the nightstands and they you shoved, shoved the beds in, in. So guess what happens when you try to make a new bed and put a fitted sheet yeah. on it? You literally have to pull Boy. the mattress out and, and try to do that. So either you need two people or you need yeah. to have the strength to be able to do it. You can see I have plenty of so room we to got, the side. On, on both of us. So you got two men, about six foot one-ish in here. I mean, plenty of room to get, to get in. and. Yep. Uh, we and then we to, extended the nightstands yeah. out as well. So, you know, people have CPAP machines yeah. now. I know that's a, a lot more commonplace. So uh, rather than having to, you know, pull one up in a cabinet and drill a hole yeah. and drop it down, you can actually put your CPAP machine right on here. If you, you like your glass of water at, li at night like I do, um, you know, you can put that down. It's not going to be in the way. And there is storage on the ends of these as well. And, and we do have outlets here. You can see there's yeah, a we USB. Got the, the that's tablet plugged in. Perfect. And we got a ceiling fan back here as well. Yeah. Give you that nice that nice home feeling. Then we walk into the big master bath here. And this, again, is where, you know, we got uh, the nice the nice fiberglass shower surround. And, boy, you talk about storage. I mean, we just really loaded, uh, you guys just loaded everything up with this. I mean, pull out pantries. You got your washer and dryer, which is standard on the Venetian. Yeah, it's standard on everything, uh, every floor plan that we have. Um, Aside from the 33-3 Palazzo, yeah. so it's, it's across the board in here, and the shower is a huge deal. Yeah. Um, so the A40 had kind of a smaller shower, and you can see how big this one is. Um, you know, I'm a bigger guy, I'm, and, you know, I can be in here comfortably. This, yeah. is, a, this is all one-piece fiberglass, but it's got a nice tile pattern to it. Uh, that's something we changed last year that, that people seem to really like, and, you know, if... Uh, if you want to be able to sit down in the shower, you have a nice right large yeah. space to be in. So it uh, it really, really is a nice nice setup. But the, the shower that we used before, um, that was one of the disadvantages of our bath and a half. And we've gone from a disadvantage to what I think is yeah. probably the largest rear bath shower in the industry. So it was a nice flip mm -hmm. for us to make. So. It's a beautiful bathroom. You ready, you ready to go You ready to go drive? Ready to go talk I'm, about, I'm the, ready. about what uh, people can encounter up of front? Course. You know, I do. I want to talk about, uh, you know, our, our powertrain, our transmission. And the one thing that uh, I love about driving our diesel products uh, is just that, that wheel cut because you can really, they're just, why don't you go ahead and drive here? Of course. So the, uh, 55 the degree wheel yeah, cut. Yeah, I mean, so. absolutely so maneuverable. And everything here and from your VIP smart wheel to navigation is just so ergonomically perfect. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, I mentioned before, but I, I just want to mention it again because yeah. we spend the money for it. Is uh, our biggest competitors and their 40 mm -hmm. foot coach that competes against us is a 380 horsepower. Yeah. This is a 400, so um, it, there's an advantage to going to a 400 horse, and 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 you know, so it's going to have more power on the road and it's class than anybody else. Um, that's a big deal to me. Um, 
but uh, yeah, you can see great visibility. You know, everything is a, everything's really easy to see, and 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 you know this large screen. We, it's a 10, 10.1 inch monitor. Um, it's got navigation on it, uh, so you know exactly where you're going. Um, you know, there is Bluetooth available with this as well. So you know, when you want to play your 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 tunes yeah. rolling down the road. By the way, I didn't mention it, but there's a sound bar both on the outside TV uh -huh. and the interior one that also has Bluetooth. So if you want to play Spotify or yeah. or Apple Music through through the through the the sound bar, you can do that yeah. as well. That noise, folks, which is I was putting up the uh, the step while I just wanted to show that off. So for the for Stand the passenger, Stevie, I mean, I mean that thing's that. sturdy, man. Yeah, that, I mean it's not going anywhere. No. So you know you put that up and then suddenly that closes that in for the passenger who. You know, you got the you got the recliner here, so you can really just kick it out. And when you uh, Oops. ride, no, oh, that's Maybe the swivel. The next, yeah, this yeah one, I have this the swivel. Right there it is. There it's electric. I'll help you. It's electric. Look at that. Look at this that. is how you drive down. This is why you I put again. you in the driver's seat, baby, because I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go. I'm ready but, to go, man. But no, this is and it, it, it is. You know, it's it's. I enjoy driving our diesel products. I really do, because I do. I drive everything we make. I yeah. have driven everything we make. And I love getting behind. In fact, I'm I'm, I'm taking this to uh, out to uh, on, a, on a little road trip next week, which I'm really, I heard, really I heard. excited about. Fun. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But they really are. Th coming. They're just you. You can stop by any time. Okay, you can stop right. by. It's your right. product. I do want to talk about real quick because I know Tom's running out of gas here. Um, when what what makes you so passionate about about the products? Because I, I love talking to you. I love doing these walkthroughs, whether we're we're here at our building or when you and I are out at the shows or our open house, you can just tell you get excited when we talk about the product. So what is your what, what what's your drive and the passion? Because your soul just you, you just get excited every time we do this. And it does. It, it is. It's, it's contagious. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I, you know, I when I got in this business, mm -hmm. I I really didn't know much about RV and I had a you know, I played baseball um, growing up, and, and we used to go, Jake Tate was the name of the catcher, and I used yeah. to ride on, I remember I, I learned about D Bob Marley riding all around in his RV, and I, I always liked it, but I never really got a chance to do much of it. Um, I think probably just meeting customers yeah. that, are, that are living in these things, traveling these things, and just to see them light up when they talk about the experience that they have. Um, my son and I, we travel a lot together, and uh, I can tell you the the summer RV trip is the one that yeah. he looks most forward to, and and I just love the lifestyle, and and we just want to provide the best possible experience yeah. for our customers. Uh, that makes me feel yeah. good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate because I get to work in an industry with a company that all we're really trying to do is fulfill dreams. Yeah. And so, I mean, what's funner than that? I mean, right. people people work their whole lives to be able to afford something like this, and we just want to make sure. That, that they have a great time. Yeah, and you will in the brand new Venetian J40. Adam, thanks for uh, See, thanks thank for you. your time this Appreciate morning. It. If you'd like to learn more about the J40 or any of our Thor Motor Coach products, all the products, all the 2019s are on ThorMotorCoach.com. If you have not liked and subscribed to our Facebook or our YouTube, please do that because we, we post different things on all of our social media platforms. So you may see a, a blog here, a vlog here, or a video here. So subscribe and like all of those. All of our 2019 videos are rolling out on YouTube and Facebook uh, as we speak. We're producing those. We just wanted to take some time this afternoon to talk to Adam about the J40 and let you folks see it first. If you have any more questions about it, please keep them coming in. We will get you answers. You can go to ThorMotorCoach.com, click on the Sales Advisor tab, and you can go ahead and request a brochure or, or, or call or call Heather. The, 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 it's right there. You have the numbers right there. You can actually talk to a person at the factory, your friend at the factory. Heather Rader will help you out. You can give her a call. We want to get you on the road in the coach made to fit you. That's why we are made to fit at Thor Motor Coach. So I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you again real soon. Have a great afternoon.